Hey, this is Drew again. Uh, I forgot one part. Uh, when Ray took her car to the dealer, they fixed the hook that it had broken off. So, I'm pretty sure that the bypass that I just did, it would work with the hook broken. But uh, just in case, what y'all need to do is uh, probably go to the Dodge place. Don't let them repair it. I mean, like I said, it's really easy to do. Like I've showed you. But, um, there's only two more bolts to take out to get to the little hook. And there's a little metal clip that they'll install. And the spring can hook into it. What it is, the, the part that the spring hooks into is prone to breaking. And apparently after four years, they finally figured out a little metal clip wouldn't break. So they fixed that. But, um, I think my bypass will still work with or without the spring broken, but just in case, here's what to look for and ask for at the Dodge place, and then, like I've showed you, you can replace it yourself in like 10 minutes. I put it on high def so that maybe you guys can see it, but uh, this is it. You can see right here the loop where it hooks on, and that's kind of blurry. This is a little metal clip they slipped over the plastic piece that breaks. That pink tab under there, it used to have a place for the hook, but it breaks off of the factory cars, pieces. But anyway, this is kind of a fix that they've come up with. And uh, anyway, it, uh, it releases. It's supposed to have a little tension on it, and it pulls on the lock back here. And it goes across to here. That's why I'm thinking the way I've got this little piece pulled up right here instead of under it, it pulls the opposite so that it's always unlocked instead of always locked. See, whenever you would push the pedal, it's supposed to release and then the spring pull this up. The spring breaks off, but then with this on here, Technically, you don't need the spring at all because this acts as your spring. Um, and once I got it on there, I pushed it back down with my finger. See, and then it it rests just high enough so that it's in the normal unlocked position. In other words, it thinks you have the pedal pressed in all the time for the safety. It doesn't hurt anything. It just lets it where it'll you know shift. I mean, I do have the e-brake on, so just know that that's why I'm doing that. And I wouldn't do that, you know, without the e-brake. might roll into the car head, but I'm just showing you, for example. But anyway, don't go spend a bunch of money. Don't sell the car. It's a great car. I know that ours with the 2.7 is great. I highly recommend the Jet Performance module for it. It shifts better. You know, new Dodge cars aren't notorious for the best shift patterns and uh, stiffness and all that. And every once in a while it, it acts funny, but with the jet chip in it, it's wonderful. At Eclipse Spider, it's been in here probably in at least one of our videos. Um, as well as Bella, the purple, well, the red, maroon, whatever, Eclipse. It was a race car, but this Avenger beat it pretty much it would run faster so i'm just putting that out there uh if you have one of these dodge cars v6 or a v6 charger maybe and you want to bump it up and get it to drive better pretty much haul ass get online get on ebay or whatever or hit us up i'll order it for you it's a jet performance chip and it changes shift patterns and all that it makes your torque converter lock up earlier so you're not wasting energy and gas. It makes it just all around better car. Got better gas mileage. No lie. But um, that's just, you know, my two cents over here at Shogun. But uh, like I said, if y'all need anything, you know, hit us up. Uh, we're on Facebook. We were on Facebook first. Um, it's Shogun slash. Well, to look us up and search Shogun space auto works dot 
I'm gonna not say it. It'll pull us up. Can't can't miss it. Um, we're not big on a lot of stuff, you know, nationally yet, but locally we're kind of getting the name. And uh, a lot of people come to me for advice. Everybody at work, you know, I work at O'Reilly's. People always come to me as last resort if they can't find something. So, you know, I try to help when I can and post videos for you guys. And uh, tips and tricks that I found, Corey's found, and we'll try to help you guys out. And, you know, peace, whatever. <laughs> anyway, oh, ignore the Hello Kitty. Uh, this is Rachel's car. This was my car, and now it's our car, and she's kind of taken over with the Hello Kitty. But, uh, you know, it's cool as long as I can have my toys. She can have hers, and I get to take care of both of them, as you see. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good one, man.